Hey, hey, how's it going guys? My name is Zealwood and welcome to the first ever lean review video on the channel. A series specifically designed for the shorter, simpler titles for that precise lean analysis without the chunky detail. So Ikai, a single player indie first person psychological horror game set in a traditional Japanese settlement where you play as a priestess named Naoko charged with protecting your rural home from a number of powerful evil spirits. Your encampment is very well detailed during both day and nighttime scenarios. Torches, moonbeams and humidity effects combined with traditional high textured Japanese architecture easily defines the game's realistic setting. Character movements, equipped item animations and actual Jump scare events, however, are mostly underwhelming and do feel somewhat cheap due to very static bobbing movements and no on screen zooms or effects when you die. The soundtracks are very limited in quantity, only provide a few unsettling wind effects, but do manage to create an incredibly atmospheric experience when combined with the game's very over the top and dramatic footsteps, creaking floorboards, and demonic enemy sounds. What starts off as a chore completing introduction quickly becomes a puzzle solving, seal writing spirit avoiding rush that grabs your attention from the very start. The puzzles were interesting, not too difficult and were quite satisfying to solve. Each enemy spirit provides a basic challenge in the form of patrol and chase mechanics. The game runs on a very forgiving autosave system for deaths and respawning which technically makes most if not all threats of the game pretty much face roll. The seal writing aspect is a very unique feature that keeps tension high due to the strange off screen sounds you'll be hearing constantly and the high possibility of a jump scare if you're spotted while writing. There are many unsettling events throughout that do a great job at making you feel uncomfortable with surprisingly little effort, and discovering the game's plot via hidden information cards was quite interesting. Overall, I'd give this game a 3.5 star or 68 out of 100. For a very short 2-3 to three hour playthrough with highly immersive sounds, surprisingly engaging puzzles and very casual difficulty, a decent gameplay experience was provided throughout. Definitely not good enough to be considered replayable or iconic of course, but somewhat sates that short term to the point horror game craving. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe to keep up to date with my review uploads. And let me know what you thought of the review format for this video. There are plenty of short games I want to cover in the future, so I may try out this review style for a lot of them. But as always, all the best guys, take care. Uh, sweep, sweep, sweep.